respected principals, St. Teresa's Institute of Education, members of the jury, and my dear friends. I would like to present the research paper on digital transformation towards a smarter education, which has also been authored by my guide, Dr. Sybil Thomas Mapp. And together, we would like to present our views for the seminar, Benchmarking Quality and Accrediting Institutions of Teacher Education, the Revised NEC Framework. The agenda that I propose to cover is as follows. I will first talk about the introduction, which will give us a brief idea of the present state of the environment in which we are in. Then we'll go on to talk about the advanced ICT techniques which can be used in education. Further, I'll cover the, what is digital literacy, research study and its aim. There will be a brief review of literature and explanation of the methodology followed for carrying out the research. We'll then analyze what exactly are the results. I will go through some of the recommendations from our side so that together we can evolve education and take it to the next level. Starting with the introduction, in today's state of affair, we all know that in today's world, there are several education institutes which have spiraled across the country, and most of them through private participation, some tied up to the global partners. Given this environment, it is but natural for the current higher education institutes to think aloud. Gone are the days where an institute could simply rely on its name and past laurels. This world is now the survival of the fittest, and teaching institutes now need to innovate on a regular basis and exhibit perseverance to remain relevant. Coming to the neck, an autonomous institution of the United Grants Commission, University Grants Commission, UGC, which I'm sure we all are aware of its major function, which ensures that the higher education institutes are periodically assessed and ranks them accordingly. One of the core values on which the NAC accreditation framework is based upon is the use of technology for educational delivery, which can enrich the overall learning experience. Hence, we understand that the use of ICT is imperative and the extent to which it can be used is also widening with every passing year. It is up to us to adapt and then we need to make use of this technology, which is essentially an enabler for digitization, not only in the field of education, but also in the area of documentation and data management, which can actually help us in the overall effective running of the institution. Whether we like it or not, smart classes are here to stay and the evolution of these classrooms are there to digitally prepare us for a connected society. When I talk about the advanced ICT techniques which are currently used, I would like to draw your attention to the figure here. We see the education now has moved from a teacher-centric to a learner-centric. Look at the steps shown here, which we have constantly evolved right from the traditional mode of learning, which is the rote learning to the area and time when ICT was initially introduced, which gave us a lot of digital content. And then we have the situated learning cognitive approach, where together with ICT mediated instruction, we essentially got a discovery like experience. And of course, the final stage in this roadmap is the knowledge based society, which involves all advanced use of ICT. So throughout this way, there has been a progressive enrichment in student learning. When I look at some of the advanced technologies, what comes to my mind is AR and VR, which is essentially augmented reality and virtual reality. And then we have the video conferencing platform that is the Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, which enable online events like conferences, meetings, webinars for people residing in urban, rural, remote areas. And the awareness of this platform is primarily knowledge of safety mechanisms so that collaboration is used effectively. It goes without saying that this technology helps us in maintaining social distance. And this we know is the norm to be practiced with current COVID times. So in order to make use of all these technologies, one has to be digital literate. This essentially is a prerequisite for ensuring maximum benefit to the society. Therefore, now let us look at what is digital literacy. Digital literacy is the ability to understand, use technical, cognitive, sociological skills to assess and integrate various digital resources. And of course, this involves a lot of critical evaluation and also the safety aspect with which we actually communicate ethically with each other on a digital platform. Well, the ultimate goal of the digital literacy society is knowledge-based society. The establishment of this society is the key skill for a teacher 
which actually helps to find, analyze, evaluate, use, disseminate information within a particular context. The role of a teacher is definitely extremely high in making all this happen. And a digitally ready product, that is the pre-service teacher, PST, would definitely enhance the perception of the teacher training institutes from where they passed out. We definitely need to feel that PST would be able to make a difference and should have a quality of adapting to an ever-changing digitalized world by making a difference. Coming to the research study and its aim, a research study was carried out across 15 BEAT colleges in Mumbai region during the start of the year 2020. In all, there were 500 respondents who were PST studying in the second year of BEAT colleges. The aim of the study here was to get an overview of the PS service teachers' digital literacy levels in all areas, to assert, and the second was to ascertain the existence of a smart environment in teaching training institutes and the extent to which the pre-service teachers' use of ICT in teaching and learning process as an active participant in the digital learning ecosystem, thereby helping permeate knowledge transformation. When we talk about all this, we need to see the review of literature. I would like to state that there has been several researches that have been conducted in the past. This is not the first. However, a lot of reflections are seen in the study. And while many researchers mentioned in this pictures it's primarily focused on usage of digital devices. The attempt of this research was to look beyond research and hence research needed to obtain primary data that is the type of devices used, extend and uses and analyze the trends indicating a different and difference from the past studies. Coming to the research methodology, this was a descriptive research and for this purpose there was specially designed questionnaire where two aspects were considered. First, the use of ICT and its integration in teaching and learning process. Second was the digital literacy level of pre-service teachers were assessed. A five-point Likert scale was used for ICT purpose and the digital literacy levels were measured using a binary scale. The questionnaire was tested for its reliability and validity by administrating the same to a selected group of PST. When we look at the results of the study, I will wish to draw your attention to the figure where there is a significant trend of the usage of all types of digital devices, that is a smartphone, laptop, desktop, tablet, Kindle. Different users are using it at varying levels. The sample for the study were PST, and each of them were subject matter experts, that is in their streams, art, science, and commerce. 63.2% per part participants had a bachelor's degree, while the balance 36.8% were postgraduate. Analyzes of this figure actually lead us to believe that laptops and smartphones are most popular digital devices used because this currently the trend of the next generation. Both these devices are, allow convenient and mobility, that is, anytime, anywhere. Use of desktops are moderate primary because they are fixed devices and available mostly in computer labs. Tabs and Kindles, the use as seen in the graph, is very low primarily because this could be considered as a status symbol. And the gap in the financial status, especially those who are socially disadvantaged groups of urban area. And I'm talking about urban area because this study was restricted to Mumbai region, which is evident. Coming to the digital literacy results, content creation seems to be a major gap. Content creation is essentially involves the subject matter that you are about to teach your students. One needs to be innovative here. Ethics and study, the trend in these two areas is of concern, primarily because users, users do not have adequate knowledge. And also the information processing, more than 25% need to develop their skill sets. When we look at overall basis, the art students are marginally ahead of their counterparts in both science and commerce. We need to integrate digitization into teaching activities. Therefore, PSTs need to be digital literate so that they can make use of ICT optimally. And this technology enabled manner will ensure effective institutional function. While I present to you all these results, analysis and trends, I'm also aware of the current COVID times where technology and digital devices have been used to the maximum to facilitate teaching and learning. As I have earlier mentioned, this study was carried out during pre-COVID times. And therefore, if you look at the COVID and the post-COVID time, we definitely are moving in the right direction. 
So coming to the recommendations, what we would like to suggest is first is the progressive circular transformation to be which needs to be done year on year, starting with the PST education, keeping the end goal of establishing a knowledge society that is smart education in mind. The teaching learning process as a whole needs to be reinvented, that is road learning to be discontinued. We should use technology to the maximum so that network society is established wherein every one of us need to be in line with government's thought process of a digital India. It is in our mutual interest. The next recommendation relates to the availability of digital devices in the college labs so that the PSTs can get a feel of using them and hence improve the, upon their digital literacy. This will also in, help resolve issues like financial constraint faced by some of them, especially the socially disadvantaged groups in urban areas. And in, this will increase awareness among PSTs. PST should be encouraged to submit their assignments, term work digitally so that they get familiar with the use of digital infrastructure. Some assignments should involve teamwork so that learning becomes socially engaging and digitally collaborating, whereby use of online tools like Google Doc, Google Drive, etc. is encouraged. Any networking that is student-student, student-teacher, and teacher-teacher should be encouraged using through ICT. We recommend that college should tie up with e-libraries so that PSTs can access e-books across different disciplines. And of course, the advanced technologies which I talked about earlier should be used to impart education to rural students so that they benefit from resourceful educators. VR should be used to provide rural students a virtual experience, that is a virtual industrial visit is possible. Video conferencing facilities, Zoom, Google Meet, etc., should be encouraged to reduce travel time and avoid expenses. Now, I come to the concluding part where we wish to ben wish the benefit of digitalization of education are taken to the remote villages too. And for this, we should leverage the on the broadband facilities provided by the government of India through Bharat Net. This will actually help in our main goal of digital learning ecosystem that is to permit a knowledge transformation flow that and the teaching learning is conceptualized as the energy that fuels learning ecosystem and transfers information into different kinds of knowledge with this i would like to draw your attention to this diagram where the use of digital devices will enhance the individuals to be digital literate and the digital literacy would would accordingly transform the usage of ICT into teaching and learning. Once this is integrated into the entire learning ecosystem, this will facilitate a smart education. PSTs have the responsibility to shape up the new generation in a manner so as to establish a knowledge-based society, a network society where everything is digitally connected to each other. A digital enhanced learning system can help ingrain a digital dis citizenship across different practices of education. And once we have this in place, I am sure that this, the new economy, that is the digital economy, will enable India to progress and stand out tall in the new world order of smart education. That's all from me, everyone. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Have a good day.